have to let 180 inch deer walk, but you know, this is day one and from what I'm seeing, we're full rut. Where do you keep that mule deer tag, bud? I keep it close to my heart, Code. About an hour and a half left in daylight. <sighs> Nothing but monster bucks in our future. 140 yards and the cameraman says, no, 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 you can't shoot. Imagine a life where all your hopes and dreams come true. Heck of a bull, man. Oh. Where somehow you find your way. Oh my gosh, there he is. <laughs> if it was only that easy, but something so glorious could never come for free. It takes sacrifice and determination. I say that life is too short not to do what you love every single day. And I say it's too short not to spend it with the one you love. We're Cody and Kelsey Robbins. And we live to hunt. Kelsey just shot a wonder boat. I was like, I couldn't see it. Give me a crossbow, I'll shoot him. Awesome, Buck. Nice. <laughs> what a breeze. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Look how big he is. How exciting was that? How exciting was that? Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey Robbins. A doe's gotta be in heat, Brian. That's, that buck is heavy. We can do way better than him, bud. Okay. Cool buck though, hey? That's a heavy buck, man. That's a nice buck. I'm gonna bleat like a fawn, get him to stand so you can just judge his horns a little better compared to his body. Okay. Mature buck, just tight frame. There he goes. The way this rifle balances is amazing. It's like the best time of the year, bud. November 20th. You'll see a whole bunch of that bucks partnered up with those. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, bro, let's keep going. It's opening morning for our hunt. And uh, it's the first buck we really got a good look at and got excited about and uh, moved in close on. I can't really dwell on him because we've got to be covering ground. Alberta, Canada, the second greatest place in the world to hunt giant mealy bucks, bringing on the rut in this beautiful land of rolling hills and river coolies. It could very well be the best country on earth for the deer of your dreams. On this hunt, I was with two complete strangers in the beginning and lifelong friends by the end. I know I say this a lot, but that's what the beautiful sport of hunting does. Got uh, Cody Jensen, AKA Jeremiah. <laughs> Dude, look at that hat. I mean, that's a, that is a hunting hat right there. It's hard to tell if, you know, like without showing what's in front of them in the screen here, you wouldn't know if there's a black baldy cow cabin or a big muley buck running over the hill or what. <laughs> Where do you keep that mule deer tag, bud? I keep it close to my heart, Code. Is that right? Yeah. You probably shouldn't tell me that because I'm going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> the next time you got your hand in the cookie jar in the cooler getting lunch out, I'm going to jersey you like a Canadian boy would play in hockey. <laughs> I'm going to take that tag and I'm going to run. Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Rage, leading the evolution in lethal technology, Botec and Squincher, Primos, and 10 point crossbow technologies.
just walking coolies middle of the day trying to spot a buck in some doors somewhere. Beautiful country. Making our way down a ridge, we bumped into a buck coming towards us from around the corner. We hit the deck and waited to see what he was. Skyline and go so we can look up that way and that okay. way. Move back out here. We got another group of deer spotted. A couple nice bucks. We saw them from a long ways away, so we're just sneaking over the rise. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's cold. Not much farther down the coulee, we bumped into a big herd of muleys with one buck in particular that was really nice. He had a huge typical horn on one side, but the other was a bit weak on the back fork. With this being Brian's first trip to Canada for big muleys, he took his time looking him over. I think he's what we thought. I think he's gotta be right at 180. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a hair over, 82 inches maybe. I think that I might be crazy, Cody. I don't know if I'm losing my mind or if, uh, you know, the, the the snow's getting to me. It's like minus 82 out here. <laughs> my face is actually cracking when I smile. And, and uh, but that, that's a monster buck anywhere you go and, and uh, hard, hard to pass, but we know what's out here and we know that the conditions couldn't be more perfect, so it makes a lot of sense to keep looking. It's tough to let 180 inch deer walk, but you know, this is day one, and from what I'm seeing, we're full rut. I think we should, yeah. It's a nice deer. Weak back fork on one side, had one real nice sticker. Big typical horn, but just a one weak fork on his left. Oh, it's pretty awesome. Holy, is it cold? My fingers, I can't. I wear these camera gloves. I can't even feel them. They're like ice cubes, duct taped to the end of my palms. The, I don't even know how many bucks we've seen this morning, but it's the 20th of November and the bucks are just going crazy. They're either partnered up with does and stupid as heck, or they're on a mission. They don't even look at you. They got their nose to the ground and they're following where a doe has been somewhere throughout the night. It's pretty awesome to be able to see this many bucks. After seeing numerous bucks throughout the day, we spotted a really good looking deer with a big harem of does in the distance. We made a game plan to move in on them and get a closer look. 
the temperature was knocking on minus 30 degrees Celsius, and the wind was horrendous, which probably is a good explanation as to why these deer vanished to the underground by the time we got there. Wind's howling <laughs> almost so hard you can't even walk into it. But you never know, might find a big mule there, buck. <sighs> the conditions made it nearly impossible to capture good audio on my camera, but with the amount of bucks we had been seeing, we weren't about to pack it in and wait for it to clear. Every buck we could come across would theoretically up our odds of seeing the right one sooner or later. This portion of Live to Hunt is brought to you by Prophet River Firearms, your source for the finest firearms. And Sugar Creek Taxidermy, award-winning design. <sighs> about an hour and a half left in daylight. <sighs> and nothing but monster bucks in our future. I hope, we hope. We bumped into a gorgeous buck. He wasn't an instant showstopper, but definitely got Brian's attention. Once he made his way out of sight, we ran way around him to come in from the other side, just so Brian could be sure this wasn't the buck he had come for. He's gonna leave and I fought and bleeded a couple times. He actually came within 40 yards of those does. Gorgeous deer, like beautiful typical horn, character on his other side. Well, we tried to make one more move around the corner and he gave us a slippery pickle. Sucker. Awesome buck, man. He was in definite bow range. That was awesome. We keep at it, we're gonna find you a big one. I am not even concerned. <laughs> <laughs> It's morning of day three. Just spotted a bunch of does and a nice buck that we've never seen before. And he left them, jumped the fence, and he's just taken off on the trail of something. <laughs> and we're joking around in the truck saying, we should just follow him, maybe he'll take us to the, the hottest doe in town and the biggest buck. Think of him, bud. I think he's awesome. Do you? <laughs> he is tall. And when he swung around, he was chasing that doe, and I was watching him through that scope. And when he wheeled around to chase that doe, his frame just whipped around. It looked really cool. Really cool. That's a big buck. Yeah, he's a beauty. Hey, Brian, you know, if he's just not exactly what you want, I'll go shoot him for you. <laughs> Cody, I, I love you, man. But, uh, but I don't love you that much. Okay. You know what? At least I know where I stand now.
Live to Hunt with Cody and Kelsey is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Stealth Cam ZX7 Series. The game has changed. Heater Bodysuit. You stay warm or your money back. Block Targets and Vortex. Thompson Center and Black Eagle Arrows. Tell me when you're ready, good. I'm ready. Just wait, wait. Wait. Anytime. Eee! Did it, bud. Did you hear that Nosler bullet smack him? I did, man. That was... Yeah. Good job, buddy. How far was it when he walked up on the hill? 140. 140 yards, and the cameraman says, no, 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 you can't shoot. <laughs> oh, man, if that deer got away, I wasn't going to have a ride home, I don't think. And then he stopped. He actually stopped at 250 and gave him a perfect broadside shot. You made a wicked shot with your Nosler rifle. Brian. Yeah! Huge mealy buck. Nice buck, hey buddy? It's a hell of a deer, yeah. yeah. Beauty. Did you feel like giving me the people's elbow and I said, just wait, just wait, when he was 140 yards? Yeah, I did, but uh, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't do that to you, Cole. Look at that code. That's a wicked <laughs> oh, that's a beefy, beefy buck, man. Massive, nah, bladed out on this point a bit. It's a beautiful buck. It's very, very clean. Heavy buck, heavy bladed brow tines. Just a really awesome, mature buck. Great frame, full rut. Tending the hot doe there and a couple of other young bucks he's constantly having to run off and it was just enough distraction for us to slip in there on him. About as clean a rack as you're gonna get. We've been at this for two days and two hours at most and it feels like it's been a really long journey. We've passed up a pile of bucks waiting for the right buck in the right spot, the deer that Brian's been waiting for. Tell me what you were thinking when he came up on the hill and I didn't let you shoot <laughs> he started leaving. <laughs> 140 yards, a deer comes over the hill and looks at us and he tells us we can't shoot, Brian. Well, I just got him centered up in the scope, just starting to put pressure on the trigger and I had to, he, he was climbing up the hill and when he came over, I had to kind of squinch down just a little bit to get, get him lined up and just as I'm squeezing, Cody says, no, no. <laughs> this Cody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why everybody point their finger at me? <laughs> just as he said no, the buck turns around to go chase a doe and another buck away and next thing you know he went from 140 to 250 and but he turned broadside and we got it done congratulations brian thanks code you did it. you did awesome man appreciate it code yeah. good work buddy it was uh, a wicked experience a guy gets done and just can't wait for november 21st to come back and to be able to hunt big muley bucks again in the rut Hunting muleys in the rut, or any species for that matter, can be a ton of fun. The rut can bring animals out of the woodwork in midday that are otherwise nocturnal the rest of the year. With such high instincts to breed and pass on their genetics, they basically throw caution to the wind and let down their guard to the outside world, giving sports men and women a great opportunity to see lots of game and be more selective. You may have to bundle up for the occasion, but the chance to hunt in the rut is worth it. Join Cody and Kelsey on Facebook for live updates and in-field photos from the Live to Hunt team. Go to livetohunt.com to order the latest in Live to Hunt apparel, DVDs, and other merchandise. Next week's previews are brought to you by Squincher, hydration that works.
Next week, we are hunting whitetails in the rut with two beautiful young ladies and their 10-point crossbows. The action you will see on this show is through the roof amazing. The very sight of a giant black antlered bush buck is almost as exciting as your very first encounter with the central Saskatchewan man-eating tiger mouse.